and welcome back to the channel. So today in this video I'm going to be filming the 73 Vogue quickfire questions. I saw Fabulous Hannah do this recently over on her channel and I just thought it would be a great way for you guys to get to know me a bit better. So grab a few snacks, grab a drink and let's get on to the questions. So if you want to find these questions for yourself then I'll link them in the description down below but let's go on to the first question which is what is the best thing that's happened to you this month and honestly it's probably seeing my friends and family again it's been so hard social distancing and not getting to see them as much and obviously from a distance so reuniting with my family and friends has been really good this month and also probably booking a little getaway for my birthday. Me and my boyfriend have booked to go somewhere for my birthday and that's really exciting because our holiday actually got cancelled this year due to the virus. So that's probably a really good thing that's happened as well. So the second question is, what is your favourite ball game? Honestly, I'm a sucker for Monopoly. Absolutely love playing that game. I'm so competitive when I play it because I always want to win and steal everyone's properties and money but Monopoly is definitely up there. So question number three is, when are you most inspired? And honestly, I think it's late at night. Question number four is, if you could teach one subject at school, what would it be? And I'd probably say photography because I want to be a photographer, so teaching what I'm passionate for would honestly be the best. Question number five is, what is your favorite beverage? If we're talking alcoholic, then definitely Sex on the Beach, uh, Purple Rain, pink gin and lemonade, I'm that basic bitch. But if we're talking just normal drinks, then orange juice and Sprite, lemonade. I'm really quite basic to be honest. Question number six is, what is the best compliment you've ever received? Honestly, nothing springs to mind. I do like it when someone compliments my outfit because I really try with my fashion. Like I don't really have a fashion sense, but when I'm wearing a good outfit, I like people to compliment it, so I guess that's, that's not the best one I've ever received, but nothing springs to mind, so maybe that. So question number seven is, what is your favourite birthday cake? Now for my 18th, I had a colourful rainbow cake, I absolutely love that, but if we talk about flavour, then definitely chocolate cake. I have got such a sweet tooth, I'm a sucker for chocolate, so hands down, one of my favourites. And honestly, it's such a basic choice as well. <laughs> so question number eight is, what is one thing you still have from your childhood? Now, when reading this question, I don't have anything that springs to mind, but obviously I still have all my photo albums and stuff when I was a little kid, but I actually do have a memory box on top of my wardrobe. In there I have all my old school certificates, swimming certificates, I have my gymnastics ones as well. Um, I have my brownie sash with all my badges on as I used to go to brownies and collect them all. Um, but I think I threw all my old teddies away and everything because honestly they were just battered. So probably that memory box. So question number nine is what is your favorite movie? Honestly, I'm a sucker for Disney. Any Disney films I'm there to watch. Absolutely love Disney. Um, but if we're talking a film that is not Disney, then I absolutely love LOL, which has Miley Cyrus in. Um, I love A Simple Favour, that's a really good film. Love Rosie is a really good film. I more prefer series and films, I guess. Like, I watch a lot of series on Netflix and stuff, so it's really hard to pick a favourite movie. Question number 10 is, what is something you can't do? And I'd probably say sing. I'd always love to sing, but... I can't sing, I sound terrible, so probably that. Question number 11 is window or aisle seat? On a plane, window seat all the way. I cannot fly on a plane if I don't have a window seat, so we always have to book our seats. Um, sounds really bad, but I love a good window seat. So question number 12 is what makes you laugh no matter what? And probably my boyfriend, my friends, family, um, they all just make me laugh when I'm feeling upset and they're always there for me, so probably them. So question 13 is, what does creativity mean to you? And I think it's about learning about new ideas and being excited about the ideas that you have and then seeing them come to life. Um, but I really love being a creative person. I love everything artsy, photography, and I really like seeing your ideas and imaginations come to life. So that's what creativity means to me. 
So question 14 is what is your favourite lyrics of all time? Obviously if you know me it's got to be a Lil Mix song. Um, you know I love Lil Mix. So probably Wasabi. An absolute banger. Can't think of any others that spring to mind at the moment. So we're going to go with Wasabi. So question 15 is what is your favourite holiday? Now in the UK we only really celebrate Christmas which is the big main event. Um, obviously we celebrate Easter and stuff like that but Christmas is the biggest one we celebrate I'd say so definitely Christmas. So question 16 is what is heavily played on your music playlist right now? Um, I kind of just listen to a bit of everything. Um, listen to Little Mix, Ariana Grande but at the moment TikTok songs have been stuck in my head. I hear them on the radio. Absolutely love them. They're bloody bangers so a bit of everything really. So question 17 is, if you could raid one woman's closet, who would it be? Jordan Lipscomb, hands down. She has the best fashion ever, period. She is a great YouTuber, so if you don't watch her, make sure you do. Her fashion is just sick, and I wish I could just dress like her. Um, but honestly, I'm not that bougie enough. So question 18 is, what is a must-have in your bag? Um... I don't really take many things out in my bag. Obviously, I take my purse, my car keys, house keys, lip gloss. But yeah, I don't really carry many things in my handbag, to be honest. So question 19 is, what did you want to be when you grew up when you were 12? Now, I was really set on being a singer or something like that. But then I realised that I couldn't sing. Um, so that kind of fell out of the window. But then when I was 12, um, leading on to 13, it was kind of the YouTube stage for me. So I was really inspired about making videos and editing videos, so that was a big part of my life back then. Question number 20 is, what is something you'll be not doing in 10 years? Now, reading that question, honestly, nothing springs to mind again. Um, I guess I won't be living in this house. I'll probably be moved out into my own house, which is kind of scary. Um, but yeah, I won't be living here anymore, I guess. Okay, so question number 21 is, what is an important life lesson for someone to learn? And honestly, I think you should just learn to love yourself. Um, there's so many things on the media nowadays where people are body shaming others, which makes them feel super uncomfortable about themselves. So from a young age, I think they should just learn to love themselves and just to be kind to others online and think about what they say to people and be respectful. So yeah, that is a big important life lesson that I'm definitely going to teach to my children one day. Question number 22 is, how do you start your day? Honestly, get up, uh, go on my phone for a bit, check out Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, that sort of stuff. Go downstairs, make some breakfast, do my skincare, brush my teeth. Nothing really that interesting, to be honest. I'm really not one of those girls who makes a morning coffee, takes a picture of their beautiful breakfast because it's so Instagrammable. Honestly, not me. So question number 23 is, would you ever live anywhere besides Birmingham, which is obviously where I live now? Um, yes, I would, because I'd love to live by the seaside, but yet again, I wouldn't want to leave my family and be too far away from them. So it's a bit of a 50-50, I guess. So question number 24 is, what is your favourite dessert? Now, as I said earlier, anything with chocolate, absolutely love chocolate. But if I was going to a restaurant, then definitely a warm gooey brownie with ice cream. That is heavenly. Um, but yeah, anything with chocolate will satisfy me. <laughs> so question number 25 is, what is a dessert you don't like? Probably like a trifle or like that sort of vibe. Don't really like those. Um, as I said, much prefer chocolate. So question number 26 is, it's brunch, what do you eat? Now, I love a good pastry, like a pan of chocolat or a croissant or, um, you know them croissants with the chocolate in the middle? They are beautiful. I don't really get hungry for like lunch sort of thing, so a quick snack will do me good. Question number 27 is, what is the best vacation you've ever taken? Now, I'm going to say Disneyland. I went to Disneyland Paris last year and I think it was just a nostalgic sort of holiday for me. That's why it was my favourite because me and my mum have always wanted to go and last year we got the opportunity to go, which I absolutely loved. It was one of my favourite holidays. So yeah, Disneyland Paris. Question number 28 is, favourite Disney animal? I love Donald Duck. 
um, Flounder from The Little Mermaid, Pascal, and the horse from Tangled. What's the horse's name? Maximus. Him. Um, yeah, those are some of my favourites. And Marie from Aristocats, actually. She's really cute. So question number 29 is, what is the book you are planning on reading? And question 30 is, what did you read most recently? Now, I don't actually read books, which sounds really bad, but I just don't find the time to read books. And personally, I don't have an enjoyment from reading books. So, nothing, I guess. So question number 31 is, who is your favourite solo artist? I'll have to say... Ariana Grande, she's an absolute queen. I love my Miller songs as well. Um, Post Malone is a really good solo artist. Absolutely love him and would love to see him live. Um, so yeah, those three are yes. So question number 32 is, what is something you're tired of? And honestly, it comes back to the other question about people body shaming people online. Um, I think it's just so disheartening and so horrible that some people have the guts to say things about other people's body and the way they look. I'm just really tired of seeing those sort of comments and hate online. So question number 33 is what is the city or country you'd wish to visit? Honestly anywhere in America. Las Vegas, New York, LA, Miami, Florida. But besides US then I'd like to go to Hawaii which is just on the outskirts. Dubai, um, Italy, Germany, Amsterdam. So question number 34 is heels or flats? Now I wear like trainers most of the time so I'll go with flats but when I get to wear a heel, I absolutely love wearing those. Number 35 is where does one go on the perfect road trip? Now I've never actually been on like a road trip but somewhere me and my boyfriend would like to go is Route 66. We would absolutely love to do that road trip. So hopefully one day, fingers crossed, we get to take that off our bucket list. Question number 36 is what do you do on a rainy day? Now, if I'm not at work, then I'll probably just chill, to be honest. Um, get the blanket downstairs, watch a bit of TV, Netflix, eat loads of snacks, order myself a takeaway. Just make myself feel good, you know? Question number 37 is, what is your favourite exercise? Now, I really like working on my abs, even though it absolutely kills. I really like doing ab workouts. Question number 38 is, what was your worst subject in school? Honestly, English. Absolutely hated English. Question number 39 is, what is your favourite animal? Honestly, I love giraffes. Always has been giraffes. Question number 40 is, what do you usually eat for breakfast? Honestly, love a bit of toast. Toast is so underrated. Question number 41 is what do you usually eat for dinner? Anything to do with chicken. Absolutely love chicken. Um, probably one of the only things I eat really to be honest because I am such a fussy eater as most of you probably already know. Question number 42 is cooking or baking? Absolutely hate cooking but baking, I do like to do it but I'm just not good at it. So question number 43 is favourite baked goods? Now as I just said, I'm rubbish at baking, so if someone's going to bake for me, absolutely love cookies or cupcakes. I know, pretty basic, but just love those. Question number 44 is, what is something you wish you could be good at? Now, I'd probably say singing. I'd absolutely just love to sing. People who can sing are so talented, and honestly, props to you. Number 45, skiing or surfing? Now, I haven't done either, but I think I'd be more comfortable doing surfing. And if you're going to do it anywhere obviously Australia. Question number 46 is first celebrity crush. Now if Zac Efron didn't just pop into your head then sorry who are you? Zac Efron was everyone's celebrity crush and honestly still is. So question number 47 is most recent celebrity crush. So Zac Efron is still up there um, but I'd have to say Ed Westwick. You know, Chuck Bass from Gossip Girl. Who doesn't love a good Chuck Bass? Do you know what? I don't really fancy or have crushes on celebrities. Like, so question number 48 is, what colour was your prom dress? I'll insert a picture here. Um, honestly, hate a prom day, but my dress was absolutely beautiful. Question number 49 is, how do you manage stress? I don't. I don't know how to manage stress. Question 50 is, what do you do to relax? Honestly, have a shower or a bath. Put a face mask on, get into my comfy pyjamas. So question number 51 is age you were first kissed, which was 15. And question number 52 was place you were first kissed, which was probably a bedroom, uh, his bedroom. But we don't talk about him because he is trash, period. Question number 53 is favourite fashion trend of all time. Um, I really like mum jeans. 
they just suit and flatter every single body type question number 54 best fashion advice you've ever received now honestly it's probably dress for your body and dress like how you want to dress question number 55 is trends you'd like to see disappear honestly anything like low rise mid rise jeans honestly can't pull them off and i think they're so unflattering question number 56 is bags or shoes and honestly i'm such a handbag kind of girl so question number 57 is how do you know you are in love now i just think knowing that you two are a team and knowing that you can trust them with anything trust is a really big part of a relationship and me and my boyfriend have so much trust and he's literally like my best friend question number 58 is a television show you've been watched recently and that has to be the sinner on netflix it was so good season one and two absolutely brilliant season three kind of didn't vibe with but um yeah the sinner is really good question 59 is who do you turn to when you're sad again my best friends and my boyfriend they're always there for me and i can trust them with anything so question number 60 is name one thing you've learned the hard way and honestly it has to be when someone like betrays your trust you have to pick yourself up and know that you are the better person and you can get it through anything Question number 61 is, if you could make a documentary about anything, what would it be? Probably women's empowerment or something to do with YouTube-based stuff. I'd really like to see a documentary about family vloggers or things like that and how they deal with bringing their kids up on the internet. Something like that. I think that would be really cool to watch. Question number 63 is, what are you most enchanted by? And honestly, I love a person who has intelligence. So question number 64 is, what is your biggest strength? And I just think I'm a really kind person. I like putting others' needs before mine. I like to just help people out in the way possible. Um, but then question 65 is, what is your biggest weakness? And I think that's kind of double-sided because sometimes you have to kind of put yourself first instead of others to look after your own mental health and stuff. So it's kind of a double-sided sort of strength and weakness. Question number 66 is, what are three words to describe living in Birmingham? Honestly, there's nothing to describe living in Birmingham. It's chavvy. It's, I'd say it's pretty boring because there's like not really a lot to do around Birmingham. Yeah, there's a few restaurants and yeah, we've got the ball ring, but I've been to the ball ring like the whole of my life. So kind of boring because there's not really a lot to do around here. Like I want to say Birmingham's a bad place because obviously I've lived here the whole of my life. But I don't really have words to describe it. It's just kind of like average, you know? So question number 67 is cutest thing on planet Earth. I really like when babies hold their hand around your one finger. That is so cute. So the question number 68 is most important advice you'd give to your future children. And now honestly, I'll tell them to not worry and to just live life to the fullest because you never know what's around the corner. Question number 69 is best first date idea. I think something active like mini golf or bowling or something where you're active because sitting like across from a table to each other isn't going to really show your full side you can kind of see someone's full potential and yeah it's just a bit of fun really question number 70 is favorite type of flower and now i have some roses in the background and if you can see those but roses are my absolute favorite flowers so question number 71 is what do you first notice about someone when you first meet them and I think it's kind of like their whole general vibe. I can kind of read a person to see what sort of person they are, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Question number 72 is what is your guilty pleasure? I love sitting down and watching Netflix shows with um, chocolate and just snuggled up to my boyfriend. Um, just like really chilled vibes, basically. And question number 73, which is the very last question, plans for the weekend. Um, me and my boyfriend are actually going to have first date night since everything has reopened which is going to be so fun and I'm definitely going to film a get ready with me for our date night which will be super fun as well. I'm so excited to go out for some nice food and to have a bit of fun. Um, anyway so that concludes today's video. If you did enjoy it then please smash a big thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed then make sure you go down below, hit the subscribe button because it only takes a few seconds and I'll see you next time for another video.